lesson is on solving systems of equations by substitution. Suppose I want to solve the system x plus y equals 10 and 2x minus 4y equals 2 by substitution. We'll begin the process by writing each equation on separate sides of this t-chart. This encourages us to work with each equation separately. Our next step is to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. It doesn't matter if we solve for x or y, and it doesn't matter which equation we pick. But working with a coefficient of 1 simplifies the process. You might notice that this x has a coefficient of 1. So I'm going to choose to solve for x in the first equation. And I'll do that by undoing the add y by subtracting y from both sides. That gives me that x is equal to 10 subtract y. Now another way of phrasing that sentence is that x can be replaced by 10 minus y. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to the other equation and replace this x with the expression 10 minus y. So that gives us 2 times the quantity 10 minus y minus 4y is equal to 2. Now that equation has a single variable, so we're going to be able to solve it. And we'll begin by distributing the multiplication over the subtraction. So 2 times 10 gives us 20. 2 times a negative y gives us a negative 2y. Subtract 4y is equal to 2. Now we'll combine our like terms. A negative 2y and a negative 4y combine to be a negative 6y. Our next step will be to undo the 20 by subtracting 20 from both sides. That gives us negative 6y equals negative 18. And then we'll undo the multiply by negative 6 by dividing both sides by negative 6. That gives us that y is equal to 3. Another way of making or rephrasing that sentence is that y can be replaced by 3. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to the other equation and replace this y with 3. So that gives us that x is equal to 10 subtract 3. In other words, x is equal to 7. So it appears that our solution has an x coordinate of 7 and a y coordinate of 3. But we should check that out in the original equations. So substituting into the first equation, for x we got 7 plus y, which was 3, is supposed to give us 10. Since 10 equals 10 is a true statement, it satisfies the first equation. Now plugging our answers into the second equation, if we take 2 times our x, with x being 7, we would get 14. Subtract 4 times our y value of 3 would give us 12, and that's supposed to equal 2. Well, 2 equals 2 is a true statement, so it satisfies the second equation. So 7, 3 appears to be a solution because it appears to be on both lines at the same time. Now let's look at that graphically. In order to graph the line x plus y equals 10, I need to put it into slope-intercept form. So I have to solve for y by subtracting x from both sides. That gives me the slope-intercept form y equals negative x plus 10. That has a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of 10. So it crosses the y-axis at 10, and a slope of negative 1 over 1 tells us to go down 1 and right 1. So x plus y equals 10 is modeled by the blue line. If we want to graph 2x minus 4y equals 2, we need to solve for y. So our first step will be to subtract 2x from both sides. So negative 4y equals negative 2x plus 2. And then we're going to divide through by negative 4. So negative 4y divided by negative 4 is y. Negative 2x divided by negative 4 is a positive 1 half x. And 2 divided by negative 4 is a negative 1 half. So we're getting a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of negative 1 half. So it has a y-intercept or crosses the y-axis at negative 1 half. And a slope of 1 half tells us to go up 1 and right 2. So 2x minus 4y equals 2 is modeled by the red line. Now those two lines do intersect. They intersect in this point, And this point has an x value of 7 and a y value of 3. So it confirms that 7, 3 is indeed our solution to this system.